now Wicked and Butterfly Readings. Much love, much love to my subscribers. Thank you for talking to your sister. I appreciate you. As you see, I'm doing a pretty much like a relationship reading. You can say on Cardi B, the rapper Cardi B and her husband Offset. Today is September the 15th, 2020. <clears throat> there has to be some rumors circling around, you know, on the web, shall I say, on the internet. They're stating that Cardi B and her husband are planning on getting a divorce. Okay, so obviously something must have jumped off. But these are rumors. And what you're going to hear here is pretty much allegedly. Let me just say that. Everything you hear is going to be allegedly. It is for entertainment purpose only, but I am led by the spirit. Um, let me say this real quick. I do sense, I do sense that Cardi is fed up. I sense the strongly family. Um, whatever our set is doing, Cardi has gotten to the point. Cardi pretty much just got to the point of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Let me just say that. And um, I don't sense that our set had, they got anybody pregnant. I don't sense that. Um, I just sense that, you know, Cardi B pretty much um, probably got a hold of some of more information. Okay. Um, uh, you know, of her husband still cheating on her, you know, not being faithful. And Finally, you know, she's getting a backbone, shall I say, and putting her foot down and saying enough is enough. And I sense this in the spirit. I truly sense that she has had enough of offset BS, okay? The fact that, you know, he cannot, you know, operate with self-control and put her first and be loyal. Uh, I do sense that she does not want a divorce, I do sense this very strongly. She really doesn't want it. She really loves this man, okay? Let me just say that. But sometimes we all know that love is not enough. As I say, I sense that she does not want the divorce, but I do sense that she is going to follow through with it, okay? Um, and there will be a divorce. Let me just say that. It's coming, all right? Uh, it's long overdue as far as I'm concerned, but it's definitely coming. So no matter what many of you see, um, as the days go by, the weeks, the months, um, a divorce is coming. Well, okay, let me just say that. Um, so with that being said, I'm through with this. I'm just trying to get a feel for Cardi B and her husband's situation. I also said also that they are still living together, but they are on the verge of separating. Let me just say that. There is no harmony in that household. And for the child's sake, it's probably for the best. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of, you know, screaming and um, there's no telling what's coming out of, you know, his mouth and her mouth. And like I said, they have a child and, you know, you'd be surprised the things that children can hear within a household and it would be a good environment for that child as far as their parents, you know, um, not being any harmonious relationships, shall I, shall I say. So um, I don't see them, you know, uh, living together that long either. But I do sense that he's still in the household for right now. But it, I think but they live like on the, what, in a mansion. So for the most part, he probably on one end and she's on the other. But um, eventually... Um, I don't, I don't see them. I just don't see them being together. Um, there will be separation. And from there, I do sense there will be a divorce. So that being said, <clears throat> I'm setting my intentions. I want to know what led up to Cardi B being fed up with her husband offset. What did it for her? Okay. What did he do? Which I already have an idea. Many of you as well. But what did he do? What was going on behind the scenes? I'm setting my attentions. What was going on behind the scenes that led up to Cardi B saying, I had enough? I see those things in the dark, bring them out to the marvelous light. What led up to Cardi B saying, I had enough? What did I was already said treating her? What was he doing? 
sure it was all set doing. Why does Cardi B wants a divorce? Or she's thinking about getting a divorce. Why is Cardi B thinking about getting a divorce? What is all set doing? Why is Cardi B thinking about getting a divorce? What is all set doing? What we're doing then is we're seeking clarity as well as confirmation. Why is Cardi B thinking about getting a divorce? What is all set doing? All right, family, you're welcome to fast forward, okay? This takes a, a, a while, but I just want you to see me do this in real time, okay? Seeking clarity for Cardi B and all set relationship. All right, family, led by the spirit, we are to stop. Give me a minute here. All right, family, sometimes my readings are in divine order and I can get like a timeline, but it's pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just, you know, as you see, I was setting my intentions. I wanted to know, you know, I was seeking those things in the dark to bring them out to the marvelous light about the insight of Cardi B and her husband marriage. Um, pretty much how, you know, um, from the um, perspective of Cardi B, you know, why is that she's thinking about getting a divorce, you know, um, how she how does she see her marriage? You know, what is it about offset that just make her feel like, you know what? That's it. That's it. So um, this is what we're going to see here, but it's not a timeline. There are random messages. So take that with you resonate, family, and let's get with it. What we're doing, we're seeking clarity and confirmation. And remember, everything is allegedly, but the spirit realm knows all things. Believe that. The spirit realm knows all things. <clears throat> my Lord is to, to receive confirmation being led by the Spirit because I tell you, these celebrities, they put on these so called masks and they show you what they want us to see, family. I'm telling you that right now. Hold on, family. They show us what they want us to see. And that's why I fact check this way. I, you know, this helped me to get insight what's going on with these celebrities. Hold on, family. Let me um pause it real quick. Hold on.
All right, family. I had to um, pause real quick to check on my little queen. But anyway, let me say it before I get started. I'm looking at these cards, but let me say it before I get started. Do Cardi B want the divorce? Of course not. She will hold on to that man because she loves Offset, okay? And that's fine. That's her husband. But Cardi B is getting tired of looking like a fool out here in the streets. Cardi B is tired of being sick and tired. And she don't trust him. She really don't. Because he's been playing her for the longest. And she's been putting up with it. And pretty much, you know, taking him back. Okay? And he just keep making a fool out of her. And for the most part, you know, um, embarrassing her. Let me just say that. Okay? And, it just, and it's getting old. <laughs> it's just really getting old. And I really wish that sister all the best. Like I say, but, you know, may she, the way I look at it, may she learn from it, okay? May she learn from it. I'm through. I just want to put my little, you know, two cents in it. But for the most part, she loves him, and she really do not want no divorce, to be honest with you. But she getting tired of being played, and um, he got her looking like a fool out here in the streets. Let me just say that. Now, that being said, let me go ahead and <clears throat> get started with this reading. I'm going to show you every card, okay? Then we're going to go into it and see what... I'm going to interpret each card. This card is upside down. This right here is the distorted masculine family. It speaks for itself. This is upside down. This is the shivery card, but it's upside down. This right here is abundance, but it's upside down. This right here is serendipity. This right here is love. This card right here is the civil waterfall. This card right here is chivalry, but is upside down. This card right here is upside down. This is the yin and yang card. This card right here is upside down. This card is self-respect. I can't make this up. This card right here is boundaries. This card right here is upside down. This card is intimacy. This card right here is the guard, the garden, okay? This card right here is manifestation. And last, this card right here is upside down. This is the gardener. <sighs> okay, looking at these cards, family. Um, it what it's showing me, okay, is giving. Let me say this. What it's showing me, it, I'm getting an insight of how Cardi B sees her marriage, okay? Um, how she sees her husband as far as how he treats her. We're pretty much getting a little picky boot insight of how Cardi B views her marriage and her husband, okay? For the most part. How she feels about him. And how he's been treating her, okay? So let's get with it. These cards are not in order. Love. Cardi B loves Offset. She genuinely loves this man. She is not putting on a show. This right here is the serendipity card. It has additional meanings. One of the meanings that stands out to me is this card represents someone who has been in a relationship and it has its ups and downs, okay? They're pretty much not in a good place, but they are hoping, they are hoping for the best, okay? So this is pretty much Cardi, all right? This is Cardi. She is hoping for the best. She wants things to work out. She loves her husband. She does not want a divorce. She is hoping for the best. That things will get better. This right here is upside down. 
Had it been upward, this represents abundance. Not just only financial family, but abundance in all the ways that matters when it comes to a relationship. I heard someone once say that when it comes to a husband, you know, they are to provide, to profess their love for you and to protect you. Okay. But we have a husband that's constantly cheating on you. You know, they're not protecting your heart. Just saying. This is upside down. So according to the spirit, allegedly, Cardi is not feeling this abundance in a whole when it comes to a relationship. Okay? The things that really, really matters. She doesn't really feel abundance when it comes to her marriage. Yeah. They got the money. Yeah. They got the family package. You know, she has a child by him. But he's not loyal. He's not faithful. Upside down. This card is creativity. For crying out loud, creativity is upside down. According to the spirit, there's lack of creativity in that marriage when it comes to Cardi and her husband. And it's the little things, family. Now, they have money. They, they can go anywhere. They can do anything. We know this. But you'd be surprised. It's the little things that matter when it comes to us. When it comes to us ladies, it's the little things that matters that mean so much. Let me just say that. Check this out, family. Look at that. Couples going for a walk. According to Cardi B, her marriage, they don't have that. Look at this. A couple that's going on a balloon ride. You know, doing things that are just fun and exciting and it's per and it's pretty much being creative spicing spicing up the um marriage you know spicing up the relationship you know keeping it more interesting according to the spirit all said is not doing that okay yeah they have money and all of that but from Cardi perspective her husband is not making the marriage exciting it's pretty much boring okay it's pretty much boring, you know? You mean to tell me they stay in that big old house and you don't go for walks out there in that lawn? And it doesn't be there. It can be anywhere. It's the little things. These two, when it comes to their relationship, it's not creative at all. This is upside down, family. Please help eyes to see and ears to hear this is the distorted masculine okay this is the distorted masculine okay the distorted masculine is someone who does not support the divine feminine let me just say that the distorted masculine is someone who doesn't support the divine feminine in all the ways that matter, who's there for her, you know, emotionally, who listens, who listens to her, okay? And they support her feelings, okay? Pretty much. You're talking to them and you're going after the other, okay? It's pretty much they way or no way. They hear you and they don't hear you. Allegedly, that's offset. This is a silver waterfall. This card right here, it says, stay balanced, healthy, and happy by raising your own vibration. So even in the midst of her marriage, okay, Cardi B is still trying to keep a positive state of way of thinking. She's trying to uh, keep her vibration high, okay, um, by trying to, like I say, raise her vibration. Uh, this will keep her 
in a positive state of mind, okay? Um, as well as being happy, even in the midst of what's going on all around her, okay? Um, this is Cardi trying to look out for her own well-being, okay? As far as um, trying to stay happy and raise her vibration. In the midst of negativeness or chaos that's going on in, in her marriage. The chivalry card is upside down, family. We all know when it comes to the chivalry card. This is someone who, they're really into you. They're pursuing you. They're going nonstop trying to show you how much they care about you. Uh, trying to show you how much they feel about you. You know, um, the calls, you know, the texts, the what's most important, you know, they're showing up, giving you flowers, candy, you know, taking you on a little journey, horse ride, you name it. Chivalry is chivalry. According to Cardi, in her marriage, offset, stop with the chivalry. To her, the things that really, really matter the most, her husband stopped doing it, allegedly, okay? In the beginning, he probably was doing it, but according to the spirit, lack of chivalry. This is upside down, a yin and a yang. According to the spirit, there is imbalance in the heart. It is imbalance in that union, within that relationship, within that marriage, okay? And... That's not good. That's not good. It's, it's not. It's no harmony, and rightfully so. I mean, they are on the verge of separating and getting a divorce. So, uh, it's basically saying lack of harmony. Okay. In that relationship, whether it, whether it's the feminine or the masculine, you know, it's lack of harmony. Oh, it gets better. It gets better. This is upside down. This is self-respect. I wonder, hmm, this is upside down. Who's not respecting who? Who's not respecting who? It's upside down, family. According to the spirit, someone in that marriage is not being respected. Someone is not respecting the other. There's significant other. Let me just say that. Lack of respect. This right here is the boundaries card. Okay. Um, according to the spirit, there have been healthy boundaries. Cardi does, okay? Allegedly, Cardi does operate in healthy boundaries concerning offset. But allegedly, offset does not operate in healthy boundaries concerning Cardi. This is coming from Cardi perspective. Even in the midst of what she's been going through with this man, she still give him his space, okay? She let him be a man. She lets him hang with, you know, with, with, with as far as the thing that he likes to do, she lets him do it. Let me just say that. She gives him his space. Now, what he do with that space she gives him you know, you would think you'd be like, well, you know, I appreciate it. I'm going to hang with my boys and have a good time, you know, and, and respect my wife, you know, come back home. But, you know, anyway, allegedly, you know, he gets reckless and he ends up doing what he want to do and just disrespect his wife. But according to the spirit, Cardi does operate in healthy boundaries concerning offset. She does give him space, okay? She's not clingy, according to the spirit. Um, She's not at all. But I do sense this about Offset that he doesn't really operate in healthy boundaries. And I have an idea why, because a lot of times when a person be cheating and they're they already feeling guilty, that they be looking at you, you know, trying to see what you're doing. You know, uh, they start being insecure because they know they cheating. So for the most part, I'm sure that he really have an eye on her trying to see what she's doing because he know he's doing it. Okay. But it's Cardi clingy. 
you know, uh, do she be like watching his every move? No, I don't sense that about her. And according to the spirit, she, she operated in healthy boundaries concerning him. Okay. It just, when things come out, she gets embarrassed about it and she's hurt because she doesn't be watching him like that. You know, he's the one making a fool out of her. All right, where am I? Oh, boy. This is upside down, family. Rightfully so. Upward, this is intimacy. We all know what intimacy is, okay? It speaks for itself. You see two couples that are together, that are talking. They're taking a bath together, spending quiet times alone. And, you know, just doing what couples do, you know, um... Just spend that close time just talking and um, just bonding, okay? According to the spirit, lack of intimacy in that marriage. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Lack of intimacy in that marriage, allegedly. I'm not saying they have never had it before. But according to the spirit, lack of intimacy in that marriage. And this is very important. Okay. This is, this is the gardener. All right, Tim, I said the gardener, the gardener, it's the garden. I apologize. This is the garden card. And this card is speaking from the perspective of Cardi, okay? Honor yourself as the beautiful person you are, trusting in life as it is. So you can imagine how she's feeling, okay? She's with someone she loves, and they're just making a complete fool out of her, embarrassing her, okay? And no matter how much she loves, love, loves him, sometimes love is not enough. It seems like all that that she's put into the marriage, it seems like it's not good enough for him. But anyway, this card is telling her she needs to honor herself, all right? Honor herself as the beautiful person that she is and keep trusting in life as it is. Pretty much it's going to get better, but she needs to do what's right. She really do. She needs to do what's right and honor herself. And truly honor herself is see things for what it is, okay? Stop giving him the the, the pass to keep on doing what he's doing because he's going to keep doing it because also has not learned the lesson. By her honor herself, She's letting him go, okay? She's loving herself enough to know that she deserves better, okay? Now, what do I see when I see this card? When I see this card, I, I see someone who's trying to manifest something. And pretty much, this is pretty much Cardi... She, this is really what she wanted. You know, she wanted the husband. She wanted, you know, the family, you know, especially from offset. You know, um, she pretty much got what she wanted. You know, she manifested this relationship. She got what she wanted. Like I said, she got offset. He married her. They have a child together. You know, they have the home, you know, the green acres, you name it. Okay. But unfortunately, things did not work out. Just as she manifests this relationship, she can manifest another one. But it starts with her and it ends with her. She has to love herself and she's going to attract that to her. But this is a lesson Cardi is going to have to learn. If she does not learn, she's going to end up repeating and getting another offset. And yeah, I said it. But anyway, speaking from this perspective, Cardi manifests this relationship. Okay. Now, this is upside down. Now, this is the gardener. I get these two cards mixed up because they look, they look so much alike. This is how it looks upward.
I'm going to leave it upside down. Nurture the seed of love within you and help them grow. You hear that? Nurture the seeds within you and help them grow. Upward, you are nurturing the seeds within you. If you're in a relationship, you are nurturing the seeds in that relationship to help it grow. All set is not doing that. He's not putting the work in. He's putting he's putting the work or something else in somewhere else, but it's not in that marriage. Okay. According to this card, he needs to nurture his family, nurture his marriage so it can grow. He has not been doing that. So anyway, family, I know there's rumors, you know, hitting the blogs and um, I'm sure many of you heard a lot yourself, but um, as you see, allegedly being led by the spirit, um, we pretty much saw, we, we pretty much seeing clarity, okay, as well as confirmation of what I know now and what many of you know or what you already knew. Um, this marriage was pretty much I'm not going to say it was doomed before it started, but I'm going to say this. Um, there were signs way before this, okay, of them being separated. And Cardi B takes them back. She forgives them. And, you know, then she forgives them again. She forgives them the 34, 20, 30, 40. Anyway, I truly feel that she is sick and tired of being sick and tired. And this time, you know, she would truly, you know, um, put her foot down and um, give him the boot, okay? I do sense they will get a divorce. Um, yes, separation first, and then a divorce. Um, yes, I'm sensing this. There will be a divorce. The main thing is I'm praying that Cardi will learn from her mistakes, and most importantly, love herself. Take her time. Stop rushing. Love herself. Love herself. Because I don't even sense the offset was Cardi B's soulmate. A, a soulmate, you get a soulmate, a, a soulmate ain't going to look nothing like this. Ain't gonna, you, you won't get no cards when it comes to no soulmate looking like this, okay? Um, you know, uh, there's harmony when you got a soulmate. Your soulmate love you for you. Your soulmate is your other half. Your soulmate ain't trying to change you, okay? Um... Offset, I'm going to I'm going to say Offset is a twin flame, but still there must be harmony when you have a twin flame. Y'all must be on one accord, okay? <clears throat> and sometimes you two can be off to where you're still not in harmony, shall I say? Um, but at the end of the day, um, Cardi needs to move on because if she does, if she don't, they match pretty much just gonna be toxic. You know, and that's not going to be good for her nor her, their child coming up watching uh, this right here. Okay. So anyway, family, I'm through. This is my reading on Cardi B and her husband all set. I do sense, like I said, there will be a divorce. <clears throat> Time will tell, of course, but I do sense it is coming, a divorce. And I do sense that Cardi is pretty much, you know, throwing her hands up saying enough is enough. She's tired of all set cheating. And I truly believe that's the catalyst. He keeps cheating. You know, he, he won't stop. You know, it's like he have a, a, an addiction. And he does. He does have an, an addiction. Um, he can't seem to stop, you know. And he can't seem to stop and put her first and their family first. Um, all set wants what he wants. He, he's a distorted masculine. Okay, he is a distorted masculine. You know, he's not putting Cardi um uh, needs first at all. You know, he's not honoring how she feels, her emotions, or anything. Everything pretty much going one ear out the other. This is all say, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, whatever you say. You know, just uh get her off his back and then he he goes back to his old patterns. All right. So anyway, I'm through with it. I wish Cardi all the best. Um, this is my reading on Offset and Cardi. I thank you for watching. Much love to you all. And like I said, do Cardi B wants a divorce? Even though we we're seeing all of this, she still don't want no. She still do not want no divorce, family. Cause this is her. She's still hoping for the best. But at the end of the day, there's going to be a divorce.
It's coming. Please know that. No matter what, it's coming. It ain't this year's going to be next year, but a divorce is coming. Peace. Bye for now.